Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, YB, Dato Sri Idris bin Yusuf, Minister of Higher Education, Malaysia. Tan Sri Dr. Nurul Aino Muhammad Noor, Secretary General, Ministry of Higher Education. Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Dr. Anwar Bin Ali, Chairman of the Board of Directors, University of Putra, Malaysia. Professor Datin Paduka, Dr. Aini Idris, Vice Chancellor, University of Putra, Malaysia. Tan Sri Dato Haji Muhammad Fatmi bin Haji Chet Saleh, Board of Directors, University of Putra, Malaysia. Yang Aman Mulia, Dato Sri Diraja, Said Razlan, Sai Putra Jamilulai, President of UPM Alumni Association. Professor Dr. Engineer, wow, this is the toughest name. <laughs> <laughs> Regunathan Raju. Uh, the Chairman of CEO Faculty Program, University of Malaysia, and our dear friend uh, Irene Omar, CEO of AirAsia, uh, Ben Ismail, CEO of AirAsia X, and Pierre Reville, CEO of Sepang Aviation Engineering. And I'd like to make a special introduction to my fellow founder of AirAsia, who I made sure he was here today, and alumni of uh, University of Putra Malaysia, Dato Aziz Baka. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, my staff, members of UPM, students, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon probably by now. Thank you for being here firstly. Uh, it's a big thrill to see uh, an idea uh, in 18 months morph into so much and I'll, I'll spend a little bit of time talking about that. Uh, I have a very long speech here which I don't understand. It was probably written by Professor Regu and Aziz, so I'm just gonna talk off the scuff. I'm not a very smart guy and it's very highly intellectual speech here. Um, so I'll just talk in my normal, low-cost manner. Uh, firstly, I apologize, there's no fans here. Welcome to a low-cost event. Uh, we are economical in every sense of the word. Uh, uh, UPM, is the first university I ever visited, actually, and uh, it has always had that special bond with me, and it continued with Aziz, who drove me there to watch rugby uh, many, many years ago when we were both in the music business. Aziz used to uh, work for BMG Music, and I worked for Warner Music. Uh, all of Aziz's music was the same, slam, UKs, just had different lengths of hair search, wings, etc. Well, mine was much more creative with Zainal and Dangdut and Raihan, etc. He basically had the same formula for everything. Um, same three chords BMG used for everything that they did. Uh, so UPM was in my heart long before I met all of you at the speech because Aziz has many, many famous stories which I can't repeat in front of the minister uh, of his days at UPM. So uh, it's been with me for a long time. I want to thank the Minister for creating the CEO series because I wouldn't have come to UPM so quickly without that. And I think it was a, a brilliant idea to get corporate leaders to go and speak um, to students. I've been doing it for a while before the series at various universities, but I have to say the welcome I got at UPM really was quite special. I had never seen such enthusiasm uh, from students. And I proceeded to give away tickets and announce that UPM is our, our partner and so on and so forth. It got me into a lot of trouble because I have 20, 19 other universities all emailing me, the first one UTM, to say what's so special about UPM and mentioned that Renu was from UTM and everyone was trained there, so we should be ahead of UPM. So it's, I'm going on Monday to make peace in Johor <laughs> with a speech there, um, but I'm, I'm thrilled. I really am, and I'm very public about it because I think the enthusiasm UPM showed in the collaboration with AirAsia was second to none. I have worked with many, many universities all over the world. It wasn't just words, it was action, and it was action with a wonderful heart. It was really a win-win situation, and to that, uh, 
Vice Chancellor, you should be very proud of your university, and I think the university should be very proud of you because you're a sincere, hardworking, wonderful woman, and uh, we at AirAsia appreciate all that you all that you do. Passion is something you can't buy. Actually, you can't manufacture it. You're either passionate or you're not. And I think Vice Chancellor and everyone I've met, including Professor Renu, who has driven me mad. Um, <laughs> with 250 text messages a day uh, shows the passion and commitment that you have and your students are very lucky and even watching the drum ensemble it, I've seen many many in my time but this is the most unique one where they're jumping over they're silent and pretending not to listen um, <laughs> and uh, you know it was very very creative and it sums very well for your university I was looking at that a hangar, that was our very first investment uh, that Kamruddin and me put together with Aziz uh, 15 years ago and seeing the title Innovation at Work. Actually that hangar, uh, when we first went to Aviation Architects, they told us it was going to cost 50 million ringgit and I said, what? Are you crazy? It's just a piece of you know, tin and uh, stuck together. So I asked my old friend Farid Baharudin and said, how would you like to break into aviation? And he said, okay. I said, build us a hangar. And he built that for five million ringgit. And it's been with us for now 15 years. And today I think AirAsia with UPM has shown innovation again. Our relationship is just growing like that tree. And every time I go into a meeting with Irene, we hear more and more of the collaboration, that you're helping us with ASEAN, you're helping us with research that we provide to the government to ensure that we can grow and provide the right information. And I think working with such a credible university such as UPM has not just shown what we have been saying for years and years, but you endorse what we say, that low cost has really transformed Malaysia as we fight for more low cost terminals, and the ability to grow even faster. You know, like that tree and like Vice Chancellor said, 16 years ago we started with two planes and 200,000 passengers. Roll on 16 years later, we now have 210 planes and we'll carry 73 million people this year. So it's been quite a transformation and we've won world's best low-cost airline nine times in a row, which is amazing for the staff of uh, AirAsia. I, I want to thank um, Minister, who I've known for a long, long time. And again, my whole speech is about passion. You know, he's, he's really passionate. Number one, I love your shirt. I have never seen a minister be so trendy before. And I feel, normally I feel I'm the trendy one, but now I'm wearing a stupid blazer and melting in this weather. <laughs> but, but it's cool that you're different. It's cool that you're passionate. And you really put 110% into everything you do. And it shows in the results how UPM is now in the top 1% and 229, and University of Malaya has risen from 167 to 114 in the world rankings, and I'm sure within the next year or so, we'll be in the top 100, which is a phenomenal achievement, and shows if you put passion and belief, you can achieve anything. So, Minister, I take my hat off, which I'm not wearing now, and congratulations for all that hard work and passion, and it's fantastic to see the results as a fellow Malaysian. Um, I just want to end my speech again with, um, they said there was going to be a launch gimmick, but as the minister's tagline is soaring upwards, I think there's no one better to fly this plane later and fly it over UPM a few times. So, minister, are you up for the challenge? We have a training academy just down the road, <laughs> and we'll see whether you can uh, learn to fly in the next two hours. But I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for Aziz who always talked so fondly, fondly about his university, not about his American university that he went to do later, but his university here. And I'm proud that we were able to do this relationship. It's the start of many, many things. These last 18 months have been fantastic. Watch us over the next 18 years as we foster the bond between UPM and AirAsia. Minister, thank you for granting us um, your audience today. Thank you very much to everyone here for coming. It's, uh, it's exciting for me. Talk is cheap, but action is what it's all about.
and today, from a wonderful speech and a wonderful day, Vice Chancellor Professor Renu, we have got something physical, but more important than something physical, we have a bond between UPM and AirAsia that will never be broken and will only grow from strength to strength. I always say believe the unbelievable, dream the impossible, and never take no. Today we've made UPM dream come true, and we're very honored to be part of that dream, and we hope we can continue that dream as you saw upwards, and as the Ministry of Edu Higher Education soars upward as well. Today, you really have something that you can take and soar upwards, your own University Putra Malaysia plane. Enjoy, and of course, never fly any other airline ever again. <laughs> thank you for supporting AirAsia. Good afternoon, and thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much, Dan Tony.